Hey guys, today Apple has now officially released iOS 18.6 for everyone to download. And now, of course, this software update will bring a lot of important security patches and updates that I wanted to cover with you guys in today's video and a few things you're going to want to do first right after you update your devices to iOS 18.6. Again, the software is now available for everyone to download. For those of you running iOS 18.5 or below, you can update to iOS 18.6 as of today. Now, Apple mentions that there's one bug that's being addressed here with iOS 18.6, but aside from the bug and some of the changes that we'll talk about, I wanted to emphasize on security. So you see here, this update provides bug fixes and security updates, which is very important. A lot of security updates are being put in place with 18.6. So I highly recommend you update your device to the latest 18.6. Now you see here, Apple also says, and fixes an issue in photos that could prevent memory movies from being shared. So if you were having issues sharing some memories, this software update will also address this issue or this bug for iPhone users. But again, I can't emphasize enough the security patches being put in place with 18.6, which are very, very important. Now for the EU, Apple has also added the ability to install third-party marketplaces from the web and install third-party apps directly from the web as well. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do right after you install 18.6, if you haven't already, you want to make sure that you update your third-party applications by heading over into the App Store, clicking on your account, and then refresh. If there's any app updates, these will all populate here. And even if you have the automatic app updates feature enabled, I highly recommend you do that as some updates are being provided to third-party applications for better stability and performance, which I want to speak about that here in just a couple of seconds. iOS 18.6, aside from security updates, security patches, and bug fixes, it also provides excellent battery life for iPhone users. So if you're struggling with battery life, this software update should provide you with excellent battery life on your device. Now, I know some of you guys running the beta are struggling with battery. You can always downgrade to 18.6. I'll make a video for that and I'll link it in the description down below. But if you're running iOS 18 and you're having battery drain issues, 18.6 has great battery life overall on all devices that I've tested, as well as very stable, not too many bugs happening with this software update. Now, another thing you're gonna wanna do right after you update your iPhone to 18.6, is check for carrier bundle updates. New carrier bundle updates are being delivered with 18.6. Now, typically this happens automatically when the iPhone updates the software, but not everyone gets the carrier update bundle to update automatically. So if you wanna check for carrier updates, you wanna head on over into settings after you update to 18.6, head on over into general, go into the about section, and you will get a pop-up on your screen here if you do have a carrier bundle update available for you. Now, not everyone will get this carrier update, but if you do, obviously, you're gonna wanna update your carrier settings after updating to 18.6 for better network performance and stability. So there you guys have it, just a few tips. After you update to 18.6, the software is now available with the point security patches, bug fixes, and of course, carrier bundles that are being delivered. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.